So if you're meeting with someone in their office, who here sells a financial product? Okay, you do. You do. Who here sells insurance? Nobody. We're heavily underinsured in here, folks. We're in trouble. Nobody bump anybody. Okay, the first consultation. When you meet somebody, in the first consultation, there's a four-part script. And you can get this stuff from briantracy.com, but I'm going to give you the abbreviation. It's briantracy.com. You can get this. It works. Step number one of the face-to-face -face consultation is build rapport. Rapport. What does it mean to build rapport? If you like and trust somebody, okay? So for your staff, you need to script right now or today for step one, five rapport building questions. By the way, a rule of rapport is let them talk 70% of the time, you talk 30% of the time. But your, your, your new employees don't know this. And I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to the people you want to hire. I'm talking about if you want to go from one DJ to 100 DJs. You have to teach this stuff in a duplicatable way. Okay? So, rapport. Okay, what, what, what are the rapport building questions? Does anybody here have a great rapport building question you like to ask your clients? One I like to ask in the insurance business is, tell me, what made you decide on your current insurance company? And what made you decide to go with it? Let me ask, when was the last time you did a review? Let me ask, in a perfect world, what would it take for you to make a switch? That kind of stuff. You can use it later. Okay? Now the next part is the needs. Point number two is the needs. The needs. The goal of the needs is to help them find a dissatisfaction between where they are and where they want to be. Where they are and want to where they, where they want to be. Okay? So you're going to have to ask questions in a way that makes the customer slightly frustrated and that your product is the only solution for that. Okay? So the DJ business, I'll give you an example. Let me ask you, have you been to a wedding recently? Yes, I have. Have you seen a good DJ? How many of you have been to a wedding recently where the DJ was not good? Show of hands. This question helps me out a lot. Okay, so I said, have you been to a, D a wedding recently where we saw a DJ? Yeah. Was he any good? No. Well, can you even describe to me what he didn't do well? And then I say, to ensure that doesn't happen, describe for me what you want to have happen to your wedding. And just right there, I already solved the problem. But you're helping them find the problem. What is the problem that you solve? What is the problem that your business solves? Okay, point number three, 